हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू माई चैनल इंफॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी विद आभा एंड दिस इज अर सेकेंड सेशन इन द फर्स्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट आर सिक्योरिटी वाई वी नीड सिक्योरिटी एंड वॉट आर द फंडामेंटल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी दैट इज अ सी आई ए ट्रायड विच टॉक्स अबाउट द कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी इंटीग्रिटी अवेलेबिलिटी एंड what what are these terms are why it is important for a security resource to know about it and how we can achieve them in our or uh, in our organization or you can say in our day to day life so today we are going to discuss about some important definitions or i would say the concepts of security that is vulnerability threat risk exposure and controls so sometimes we got confused within these terms because these terms are closely related to each other so let's start with the first term that is the vulnerability vulnerability is a weakness in a system that allows a threat source to compromise its security it can be software hardware procedure or human error so what it means let's suppose we are taking an example of a server room for the to prevent the physical servers is our responsibility but if server room does not have a door and it does not does not put any notice on that it's a restrictive area or if it does not put any uh, any way to restrict the person that can be you know access is only through the biometrics or retina scan or facial recognition or by the card swiping so, so then then our server room is not protected so if these things are are there so it means our server room access is vulnerable so it means one is the one is the hardware security door is not there and appropriate uh, security measure has not been taken second is the software security it may possible door is there you have put biometric let's suppose you put the biometric there but the biometric is not working because of some some software issues that can be a software vulnerability or the the third is we are talking about the procedural let's suppose there is a new resource coming into an organization that re- resource need the access of a server room so what is the process to provide the access and what is the process is the tailgating allowed inside the server room or not so is it a uh, you can say the single factor authentication or a multi factor authentication so all these things the procedure is coming so how is our procedure is the last is the human weakness the person who is authorized to enter into the server room does he really want to follow all the security controls or not it may possible that person uh, is not following the process and he himself allow somebody to do the tailgating enter into the server room and do some false activity so this is basically the vulnerability which is talking about weakness inside a system which can be exposed by a threat second is coming term as a threat threat is any potential danger that is associated with the exploitation of vulnerability if the threat is that someone will identify a specific vulnerability and use it against the company or individual then the entity that is taking the advantage is threat agent so here we can see the two terms one is threat and the second is threat agent so what is what is threat let's let, let's suppose um, uh, let, let, let's suppose i know the server room machine biometric machine is not working i got to know about this vulnerability and and i want to exploit it so i am here as a threat agent who is exploiting the vulnerability and exploitation of vulnerability is threat so that's that's what we having the threat the next is come the risk risk is likelihood of a threat so it's exploit a vulnerability and the associated business impact so what it means if let's suppose vulnerability is there we are having the the threat here when a vulnerability is there you know if there is some weakness if let's suppose the biometric machine is not working it's a vulnerability threat is if somebody exploit that vulnerability if biometric machine is not working somebody falsely enter into the server room and did something the risk is if somebody exploits a vulnerability enter into the server server room and then did something wrong maybe they shut down the the server so so, so servers will not be available or maybe they they put some virus inside it or maybe they can they can just cut the power supply they can do anything right 
so that's a risk but when we talk about risk we'll just we'll just analyze the risk the risk is high medium or low so let's suppose in this this case if this vulnerability got exploited then he can do any harm to the server at a physical level so its likelihood would be very less like that the that the uh, biometric machine will not work but if it happens its business impact would be more because that the application which is running on those servers will not be available so that's then we call it a risk next term is exposure exposure is an instance of being exposed to losses a vulnerability exposes an organization to possible damage so what is says how much exposure uh, we have how much losses we can incur corresponding to this if a vulnerability got exploited by by a threat how much is the uh, the exposure or how much is the loss for this so we can we can say that let's let's suppose if our application is un unavailable for one hour then then it will cause an organization a loss of ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollar is a big big amount so the exposure cost is ten thousand dollar for one hour but it may possible if it is un unavailable and nobody notice about it or the damage is like that it cannot be uh, available within one hour then it can multiply on the basis of the downtime the next is controls control is also known as the countermeasure a pit into the put into the place to reduce the potential risk a countermeasure may be a software configuration hardware device or procedure that eliminates a vulnerability or that reduces the likelihood a threat agent will be able to exploit the vulnerability so in the same example if we see how what control we can put it may possible um, you know our biometric machine machine is uh, let, let's suppose we are taking another example in the server room we are having a swiping card so somebody basically you know stole the card for some some authorized employee and try to enter into an server room to do something wrong basically a threat agent is uh, is trying to exploit this uh, vulnerability because card can be taken by taken by anybody and do it so in that case we can put a, a control of multi factor authentication so whenever that that person swipes the card automatically a message will come to the mobile of that person until and unless that that otp will not put uh, put into the machine nobody can enter it can be it can be a control so the likelihood that threat will exploit this vulnerability is lesser so it, it will uh, so will call it as a control or countermeasure so now now i just explain these these terms in detail as much as i can so if you want more detail you can write me into the comments i'll will definitely discuss about it on the basis of whatever uh, example you want to take so so in the in the next slide i want to discuss about the relationship with this concept so let's suppose now we are taking the another example we are taking an example you know if a person is uh, is is going to office his office is in a crowded place and the person travels uh, with two wheeler uh, from their home to their office and let's suppose the distance is 30 minutes it's a crowded place where the air pollution is uh, too much and uh, traffic traffic is there so in that case let's try to understand all these uh, terms that is threat agent threat vulnerability risk exposure and control so first of all uh, i will will take it uh, uh to take it take it from the uh from the middle let's suppose what is vulnerability vulnerability can be the person is riding over a two wheeler and that person does not put a helmet or a kneecap so this is a vulnerability so what can be a threat a threat can be if he met with an accident so what will happen damage can be that up to a person heads or to the knee knee and the damage can be severe as the appropriate uh controls are not there here with the control is control is helmet or the kneecap who can basically save a person damage till a certain extent so here we understand the three terms one is vulnerability vulnerability is that that person 
is has not uh, has has not put the the helmet on kneecap the the control here is to reduce the 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 risk that the damage that is uh, i would say the helmet and kneecap threat is threat is somebody can hit the person inside the traffic now the risk the risk is if somebody hit a person and and the and the, and and if that person does not have any mm, uh, does not have control or has control what is the impact let's suppose that person does not have helmet or kneecap then that can be the injury can be severe but if that person has already taken the counter measures then the injury would be less so that's that that's basically the risk is now risk agent risk agent can be a person who it hit this per, person that can be intentional or unintentional now what is uh, exposure exposure is basically this person this person is a, is an is an exposure is an assert which can bear the damage to all this complete thing so this is what we are having all these terms so the these terms are related to all security types it's not only about the information security that's why in the second example i try to give you a very generic example not confined myself to a uh, information security example so this is all what we are having for the today that is the security definitions and how they are related to each other so thanks for joining uh, me today and if you have any questions queries please put it into the comments or if you want some improvement inside the videos please let us know we'll try to incorporate it thank you so much for your time